All right, guys, welcome back to the Zero Death series. And we're going to, um, most likely today, I think we're going to uh, try and get the um, Brotherhood on our side. So we're going to uh, head over there and uh, to the police station. And give them a hand with what they're doing over there. I might actually, before I do that, I might actually just check out the town and kill the, kill the zombies that are around. I've got a lot of rads at the moment, and um, a bit hungry and thirsty and all of that, so I might sort that out before I get started, but then uh, we'll head over to the police station. Cheapest and easiest way to do that would be to head up to, uh, back up to the um, cinema, drive-in cinema, and um, got an easy way of getting rid of rads there. <clears throat> Just do it like that. Ooh, we have a legendary rad roach up ahead. It's worth taking out while we're here. Damn it, it's not showing up. Alright, maybe once we uh, get around a bit, I'll pop out. Here we go. Take out the legendary. Take out that one. And take out the one behind us. Get their meat. Uh, Jewelist leather right arm. Not very good. best uh, legendaries on this run. Alright, there you have it. Now there's a the um, decontamination arc at Grey Garden as well as the uh, drive-in. So if you've got any rads, you can um, use these decontamination arcs. They're pretty, pretty easy to build. You can just buy all the uh, equipment equipment you're going to need for the vendors if you need to uh, otherwise just make sure you're picking up all the um, all the stuff that's required for them we're just in the miscellaneous section right at the very end so you need copper aluminium circuitry fiber optics and rubber one thing i recommend is putting your food into a separate contain container from the uh, from the workshop because your uh, settlers will eat and drink your food unless you've got it in a separate container. It takes up screws to build containers but uh, it's worth it to keep all your gear. I like these fridges. I just put Preston on guard duty. On this road, I believe there's some uh, mines, so be aware that you could blow up at any time. 
There we go. Fragmine. Looks like the only one. There are ghouls up in there. I'm going to see if I can disarm this fragmine and take it for ourselves. There we go. Uh, you can take the power armor into this area, but it's not really necessary. All you're going to be doing is taking care of ghouls. So, if you've got a good shotgun, they shouldn't come near you. You can take some out from afar and they're going to start rushing you. So you can put down some of those mines you picked up as well. And um, stop them from getting too close. Oh look, we got super mutants over there as well. I forgot how big this town was. Looks like the super mutants in a fight with something. Let's go and check it out. Well, it's finished its fight with something. Because it's injured. It's injured and it's not alone. But it is injured and it's got a dog with it. And I think I'm in caution for now. For now I'm in caution. Yeah, I'm in caution for now. I think I'm going to take him out. So that hasn't caught the attention of the dog yet, but I think it's coming. And there it goes. Oh, not yet. Get the shotgun out, because it's going to charge you. Pretty tough. We're back to hidden. There's a death claw around this area sometimes. It spawns. And this area is protected by this robot. I might check it out later on, but uh, I've got a mission. I want to take out this town of ghouls and then uh, go to the cop shop. There's a couple of mines around here. One, two, three at least. Yeah, there's three mines here. Good way to stock up on your mines. And there's ghouls up there. So instead of trying to get those mines, I might just... I don't drop my own. I've got eight of them. I may as well uh, make it a little bit easier for myself if they rush me. One of them's already set off a of mine. And, uh, looks like one, another one's coming. They're pretty good at blowing themselves up. I've still got one mine left. I'll take a few of them out from afar. Make sure you're hidden. Get that double crit damage. Stops moving. There's my frag mine, I might take it back. There's another one over there by that car. Blowing that mine will set that car off. I don't want that to happen. I want to keep the mine. I think there's ghouls inside the building too. Oops, 
not the best place to attack this town from. The better place would be the other side. But uh, I'm fairly confident we're going to be alright here. set off but didn't quite get myself as I was moving. Well, there we go. We got our first uh, light combat armor, and it's reinforced. Looks pretty good. Might take that. Pretty good. There's more. There's there's plenty of ghouls here. Um, that one can't quite see me, so I'll take out the one in here. There's one over there. He's lying down now for some reason. Oh, that got him. Town, I'm fairly certain of it's doing it here as well. Yes, we got a legendary. <laughs> I come from both sides. I'm still in danger, so yeah, they're coming. Whatever it is is coming. There's only one way in. And it sounds like dog meat's already got him. Caution now, they're coming out of that side building. Hidden. Probably take him out from here. Nah. Alright. What did this legendary have on him? Chameleon. Oh, nah. I'll take it. I'll sell it. Oh, actually, army fatigues. Yes, I can wear the army fatigues, which gives you plus one strength and plus one agility. It's uh, one of the best things you can be wearing. I think there's also another set of uh, army uniform, which will give you plus two endurance. But uh, I do, I do like wearing the army fatigues. See, there's more mines flying around. There's another one. Yeah. Still in caution. I want to get this frag mine. And another one. Oh, yep. Got one up here.
Yeah, so taking out. Ooh, hang on, we're in danger. Caution, they're probably upstairs. Drink the wine we just picked up. Have a look upstairs. Right. Not sure why we were in danger there. Still in caution. Could be this guy. That's probably this guy. That's it. And we've leveled up as well. Which is, that's good. We're at level 18. We can get the rifle and go with that. Okay, drop a little safe here if you want. still hear that battle going on, that's not going to stop until you go and join it yourself. Oh, there's the fight. Looks like they've already killed most of them. Let's have a look. Plenty of bodies to loot here. Now I'm sitting at pretty close to my limit and uh, I want to run back to Grey Garden, drop all this gear off and then go and talk to Pal and dance. Yeah, uh, dog meat just got hurt by the physics capability of the car. So you gotta watch out for cars. Over here. Dog meat just copped it. By the way, if I get killed by a physics car. By tripped out car physics, I'm not going to count that as one of the deaths because that's just a glitch. You should be able to walk up to a car without it killing you. Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance, civilian, but what's your business here? Actually, I might try to um, charm him a bit. Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. We're on survival. I guess we're trying to survive. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? 
What's with the questions? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. Yeah, hire me. That all depends. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. Typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Uh, yeah. But I might ask some questions. Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. Its power. Its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement had wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. Your cause seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. There are very few, outside the Brotherhood, who appreciate the gravity of the situation we're facing as a species. So, what do you say? Will you help us? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Alright. So, I'm going to go with Paladin Dance and take out Halo, Arcjet take Systems. Take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese. Once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. The reason I'm going with the Brotherhood early is so I can get their uh, vertebrates. Four fusion cores. Whoa. It's got four fusion cores. Yeah, it's got four fusion cores. So, having so many fusion cores, I might actually bring down my, uh, might actually bring down my power armor. May as well. The only reason I wasn't using it was because uh, I didn't have enough cores to really justify cruising around like this, just with power armor on. Bring the armor down here and do the mission in the armor. Get the shotgun out just in case. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, yeah. Got me once. Ooh, didn't one shot me there, luckily. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind.
good to get a cocktail in there. We may have a problem. First combat rifle. I'll take that. See that the uh, my weapons are coming out. Trick. Take all the pistols because they're going to give you um, fusion cells. Just drop them when you're done. I guess you can take as many as you can to sell, but there's probably going to be enough present. junk. He goes ahead. Probably a bit dumb just rushing in, but I um, leveled up anyway, so it wasn't too much of a drama. I wanted the XP, I didn't want him to take it all. Take the second perk of Lone Wanderer. Too bad. Considering I don't think there's much else I can really take, but you know what? Yeah, I'll take Lone Wanderer. That means I can carry up to 285 in this now. I think it just increased it by 25. What do we got here? Tesla Science Magazine. Excellent. Energy weapons permanently inflict plus five crit damage. That's pretty good. And CEO's terminal. Ah, oh, yeah, it'll tell you all the project notes. Yeah, they cover up someone getting crisped. Um, I don't want to just... 
don't run off Paladin. I want to scrap this area. Uh, repair Department Terminal. I don't know what this is. I don't think I've been here before. Ah, uh, you could go through here and turn off the turrets if you wanted to. So I'll take the XP. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Yeah, here's the junk jet. Jeering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine, I'm sure he took shop class. Oh look, he's reading the spot mag. How cute. Ha ha ha. Shop. Let's see the big this shop class. Let's marvel at the engineering. Fine. Restored. So he's already fighting out there, and I'll join him fighting them instead of using the engine core. Nice. I'll um, shoot them off. Engine fueled. Put some XP. And standing by for your command. He's going to the doorway and shoot them off. Yeah, if you um, want to do it and get the XP, that's the way to do it. You have to take out that uh, explosive barrel that was here first, because otherwise one shot and you're dead. Take all their pistols. It's one of those items you can only get, only get once, so I may as well take it. Prop it up somewhere. Command accepted. Commencing <laughs> five second countdown. Get out of there, dog. Five. Four. Dog meat, get out. Three. Oh no. Two. Oh no, dog meat. One. Oh no. Engine firing. Start with a little grenade in here, I reckon.
deep range transmitter. He had it. Let's get out. We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Six hundred and twenty six fusion cells. Definitely don't have to worry about ammo for the uh, weapon that he's going to give us. Well, where do you think you're going? We have a lot to discuss. Dance. Well, that could have gone smoother. Accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secure. There's no need to scrutinize the details. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Righteous authority, yes. And he also paid me. Critical such do double damage and the critical meter fills 15% faster. I think that's like the lucky perk it's got. It's good. It's a good weapon. Might be better to turn it into a pistol though to bring the weight down and uh, use more AP. But it's a good weapon. I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? I want vertebrates. I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. Alright. So we completed that. Um, that was a rad scorpion over there. Uh, break up their little party. There's a few random encounters along the way back sometimes. Uh, you might run into some Super mutants. Ooh, what's this? Jules, Fred, and Angie. It looks like these three have found a synth or something. I just need to get to Bunker Hill. After that, you'll never see me again. I promise. Don't come any closer, Fred. This doesn't concern you. Please, help! They're going to kill me! Shut up! What's going on here? This thing's a synth. That's what. We've been traveling with it for weeks. But then today he finally let slip that he's an institute errand boy. The whole fucking time. Because I thought you were my friend. Ooh, I'd never be he's friends a with a damn synth. You already were friends with the synth. Now please, just... Just let me go. Now, you think I'm stupid? You're just gonna run off and get your institute buddies to come put us down. That ain't happening, pal. 
I'm not with the Institute. I ran away. I, I just need to get to Bunker Hill. Then I swear I will never bother you again. Please. You believe me, right? You can't let them do this. Kill the sin. You know what? You should kill him. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill the sin. Look alive. Woo. Why don't you get out of here? What was that, Fred? <clears throat> Hello, Angie. You didn't seem like a bad guy. Ah, yeah. Seems both of you have committed murder. And I'm going to have to commit a little murder of myself. Oh, you're not dead. Damn. Oh, Angie. Oh, no. Oh, he's running. <laughs> shoot the runner. Shoot, shoot the runner. So they're all dead. Uh, it's a zero deaths run, so you may as well... You may as well take all the XP you can get. That means everyone dies, but you get your XP. And there's no negative effects either. You just kill whoever you want in this game. Alright guys, well we've done Arc Jet. We've joined the Brotherhood. And uh, yeah, we've murdered some people. So we're having a good time and uh, that's it. So if you like it, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll keep going with Fallout. Thanks.